How's it going out there, YouTube land and all stuff good social media lands? Welcome to an all new video. So in this video we're going to be doing a trailer reaction of the new upcoming Marvel film that comes out in May. And it's something that all of us big Marvel fans have been waiting for since its first film came out in 2016. So we're going to get right into talking about that. But before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on this video and the other awesome videos you I put up. And as always, people, if you enjoy my content here on YouTube, definitely check out my other social media platforms, such as Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, where I pretty much post on a daily basis, so definitely check that out. As always, people, let's get right into this. Who wants a cock in my pussy? Oh, I thought that was a real song. Oh my god. I'm getting the ears in my head here. I'm making sure I plug these in now. So welcome one and all to an all new video. So like I was saying before, we're going to be doing a trailer reaction video of a new upcoming Marvel film that just got a its first official trailer released during Super Bowl weekend. And that of course is a film called Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So Doctor Strange 2. So yeah, we've been waiting for a sequel to Doctor Strange 1 since 2016. I mean, it's been six long years waiting to get a sequel, and we're finally getting one. And this movie looks like it's going to be just amazing, epic, and just exactly what we're looking for. It's great to have Sam Raimi back into the Marvel Universe, you know, since he directed the first original three Spider-Mans. You know, a lot of people have loved his work. They love his other works, you know, from the Evil Dead, Dragging to Hell, and so forth. And... You know, this is definitely up his alley, and from what the trailer showed, you can see the great sameness in this film, and it's going to be really awesome, and I'm very glad he's back and directing this film. Now, don't get me wrong, Scott Deckerson was amazing with the first Doctor Strange. I really would have liked to have seen his vision of Doctor Strange 2, but, you know, you got your battles. You got to, you know, weigh them in, so, you know, getting Sam Raimi is really great, and it's going to be fun to see what he brings to the Marvel Universe. So, I mean, this trailer is jam-packed with tons and tons of things. I mean, from giant Easter eggs to small Easter eggs to things that, you know, it takes a couple times to watch the trailer before you see them. This is just a really awesome trailer. Very, you know, great first trailer. Lots of great snippets. I mean, lots of Wanda in it. You got lots of Doctor Strange, a different version of Doctor Strange. I mean, you get so many great things. But, I mean, the one of the biggest Easter eggs, I think, is the scene where it shows, you know, Doctor Strange, uh, he's talking to Mordo, and, you know, Mordo says, you have to be punished for what you've done, and he's handcuffed and all that kind of stuff, and, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you get the scene where all of a sudden this voice talks and says, tell him really what's happening. And you're just like, kind of like, unless you really are paying attention, you're probably not on the first, you know, step going to be like, holy crap, that's Xavier. That is Charles Xavier. And they're finally introducing the X-Men into the Multiverse of Madness. Oh my God. I was like, at first I didn't realize the first time I watched the trailer. And, I, and then after rewatching it and then seeing other people's reactions, I was like, holy crap, that is him. And even that, like, like little silhouette it shows, you, you get you, a little bit glitch. You see this thing kind of roll up, and it's it's Xavier, which is really awesome. So, I mean, that's a great Easter egg. So that's great that, you know, Marvel's finally bringing in mutants more into the, you know, Marvel Universe finally. Especially now that, you know, 20th Century Fox is now owned by Disney and is now 20th Century Studios. They can finally take those properties and start introducing them into, you know, what the Marvel Universe has already acquired. But then you have some great scenes where you see wa different things with Wanda going on. You see that great kind of like end credit sequence from Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange talking to Wanda, you know, do you know do you know anything about the multiverse? 
uh, you, you get, like, visions of, like, a double Wanda, and she's crying, and then she's standing up and touching her face. You get, like, a, a, a you know, t- uh, messed up Wanda where she looks like she's been, you know, battle damaged and, and stuff like that. Then you get all these crazy other images, you know, this one of Doctor Strange where he's got multiple arms and, like, it's black and it almost looks like Carnage almost or Venom a little bit. Uh, that I thought was kind of interesting too in the in the trailer itself, but I mean you have so many great things going on too. I mean you got you get to be, get to see Mordo because we haven't seen him since the first Doctor Strange film. We know he was going to become a bad guy. I mean we have these images of these robots we see in that sequence too, where Doctor Strange is being handcuffed, uh, which are very similar to Ultron. Uh, I mean. Just in the poster alone, too, which is a really great fantastic poster, there's a whole bunch of Easter eggs, too, if you haven't seen. And it's just, it's abundance of just, there's so much stuff going on. And, I mean, from Captain America, uh, or Peggy Carter's Captain America, from What If, you get a glimpse of her, uh, her, you know, shield in the poster. I mean, there's so many crazy things and different characters. I mean, in the trailer, we also get the look of this new character that is a, like, Minotaur character that has been in the comic books that we haven't seen and so forth. I mean, there's so many different things. But overall, this just looks like a fantastic trailer. Looks like we have a lot of great images going on in this trailer. I mean, there's a lot of craziness going on. I mean, from the scene where it shows Doctor Strange and whoever else he's with, and he's, like, being turned into pieces, like, you know, Dave Bautista's character and uh, Infinity War gets turned into, like, the puzzle piece and stuff like that. And... You just have all these great images going on throughout this whole trailer that just it's action, epic, epic, and just so much fun. So can't wait to see this film in May. I, I, May can't get here fast enough. It's such a great series. I absolutely love the Marvel films, and this is just a top-tier looking Marvel film. I think this is going to blow the MCU out of the water. I think this is going to be probably one of the best films that we've seen in a long time since Endgame. And it's just going to be epic and you know action-packed. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, definitely go check it out now on YouTube. It's amazing and worth the watch. So that's it for this trailer reaction video, folks. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Also, thank you for subscribing. And if this is your first time here, or you have been here before, don't forget to check out any older or newer videos you might not have seen by yet. And as always, people, if you enjoy my content and want to show support for the channel, definitely check out my awesome links down below either for the horror pack which is a great subscription service of horror films brought to your door for a great little price every month or also check out my awesome patreon page where i give exclusives to my patrons where they get extras that they don't get on my youtube channel such as outtakes bloopers all kinds of cool stuff and also if you're interested one of the perks of being a patron too is you can pick what next thing i review so definitely check that out people as always catch you in the next one